there are people behind, you know, this pain. Um, it isn't just the companies, it's families, and it's families right across Alberta and even Saskatchewan, and it's, it's, it's ugly. Canada Action Coalition has been the mind behind two of the largest pipeline rallies held here in Calgary over the last two weeks. You may remember this one comprised of thousands of people when Justin Trudeau came to Alberta. And, of course, this one from when Canada's finance minister, Bill Morneau, visited the province. We're speaking to the group ahead of Rachel Notley's potential oil production curtailment announcement tomorrow to get a better understanding of what the oil sector is hoping for and how the group plans on not backing down. Every time a federal cabinet minister comes to Calgary, um, we're, we're going to make our voices heard. It, this, can't, it, this can't go on. The group, who is keen on getting recognition from the feds, says the growing number of people who attend their rallies is a reflection of Albertans who are frustrated. When it comes to Notley's announcement tomorrow, Canada Action member James Robson says if a decision of an oil production curtailment were to come down, they would be in support of it. It seems very obvious um, that the federal government should understand that when they killed Northern Gateway and when they killed, you know, when they're stalling all these projects, that this was going to happen. Um, so I, so I think, I think it's, it's something that she needs to do. Julia McClellan, who works in the energy industry herself, agrees that the provincial government needs to take action. I mean, right now we're basically giving away our product and... There's no, there's no light in, at the end of the tunnel yet, right? There's always consequences that are unforeseen that we can't predict. But something does ha need to happen, and we do need to start to try to figure out how we can sort of gain control of, of Alberta's oil again. In Calgary, Brittany Rosen, City News.